Morning! We're there again! It is nice to see them every morning. Um, pretty little things, aren't they? Partridge. So, um, hello, anyway. Welcome to my channel where we um, talk about our life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Today it's cold. Um, we've got ice. So, will things start? I don't know. We'll have to find out in a bit. So, Connor's here as well as... <laughs> the big man back. That's nice. I'm happy to see he's in a good mood from afar. I've not even spoke to him, but I can tell he's in a good mood. So, we're opening the doors into the shed. I think we'll have a quick look, see if this will start. So that'd be interesting. So, if you were watching yesterday's video, I took the isolator out. So, we'll put that back in. We'll see if she starts. I don't know. Nothing. No. So, we thought that'd be the case, didn't we? Um, and yes, it won't start, so. Mm. I don't know. I, I, part of me is like, I wonder if you just try taking the battery off, put the battery in the house to keep it warm, and then see if that works. And then, then we could sort of rule out the battery as being a, an issue. Um, we had a new battery put on it, and I think it, it pretty much is ruled out as an issue, but um, it still just keeps, keeps thinking it's electrical. Before I'm setting off, Big man's here. Yeah, well. How we doing? I'm all right. My legs are a little bit better, so I'm fairly happy. Yeah. Off camera, he's asking to borrow some of my wood. I don't mean borrow, he means have some of my wood. So, um, he's gonna chop some up, he says, today. I'll let him. I've got plenty chopped up anyway, so it'll keep him happy, won't it? So my dad's out on the TM down there. And we are in this 155. We're gonna go and draw up the big shed. Connor's gonna open the gates for us. So in another one of the sheds now. Putting straw all around the pen. So we've got somewhere nice and clean to lay. We're even strawing up the outside yards. Cause it's gonna be dry today, I think. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I know it's cold, so some of them will want to be outside, so keep these uh, bedded up. These guys are eating up their hair. That one's chucking up. We'll give them a straw in here. So I was talking about waste, wasn't I, yesterday, and um, how farmers turn things around and we use the straw to then enrich it with the muck so that it gives a better fertilizer than just putting the straw back on the land um, and a few people were saying oh do you not use the waste from the um, sugar beet so last year we had a lot of sugar beet pulp if, uh, if you remember we had a big clamp of it um, partly because we were low on maize and feed was very expensive um, and that was a, a cheaper cheaper option this year we've got loads of grass growth um so we've got loads of silage loads of hay we've also got loads of maize so we've not really needed that additional um feed so so yeah that's pretty much why we've not got any this year maybe in another year we might have some again maybe if we built a better clamp as well i think hmm, i don't know we did we did it stored all right and it was it was yeah, it was decent enough, but I think we need um, another silage clamp really to to make it more efficient use of the feed because we had quite a wide clamp and it was going off a bit and it wasn't it wasn't ideal. So yeah, maybe maybe if we get another clamp up at some point, wish list, um, concrete, concrete panels, all that costs money, but um, yeah, maybe we'll we'll go back to it, but. No, we normally feed quite a bit of, of sugar beet if uh, if we can get hold of it, but we haven't again this time, so um, yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, we're always utilizing and seeing what's seeing what's cheaper and seeing what works and fits fits the year and the season. So yeah, there we go. That's why we've not had it. Got plenty of room feed. As I'm strawing up with the Tigo, my dad and Connor have been using the spreader mail to get in one of the other pens. So birds are on it. Doing these guys that are on the outside. Run it's fairly well bedded up. But we all like to top them up little and often. Keep on top of the job. It's coffee time. So we got the mixer going. I'm just gonna pop out in the pickup. Of course, when I checked my car the other day before we went on um, the long journey down to, where was it? Uh, Chippy Camden. Um, it looked like I needed a bit more oil in there. I've not, I've just been looking for some now. I've not got it. So I'm gonna go to Bullseye, get the right oil and put it in. Bullseye's our local car shop. And then everything's hunky-dory. Here we are. There we go, it was an absolute fortune, but you know what, it's a local business and um, I can't exactly order some online and get it today, can I? So it's done, it, job's done. So we're back in the yard, turn that annoying indicator off. Um, and yeah, this is the Muso in the light. We've got electric mirrors, folding mirrors, heated uh, steering wheel, which I've got on at the minute it's, you know it's quite nice it's warm there and pretty much all the way around uh got heated seats if we want them it's also got cooled ventilated seats so that's pretty cool uh obviously climate control uh apple carplay if we want that satellite navigation dab radio or oh, heated seats in the back Obviously, the, we just got them all covered up because we just want to try and keep the seats nice because it gets that sort of stuff in it. But, um, yeah, drives all right. It's got plenty of poke. And when I was towing with it the other day, it seemed fine as well. Um, Steven is a bit light. Um, and maybe a little bit vague when I was towing, but... You know what? I think it towed better than the Hilux. We weren't rocking about quite the same as we do um, in the Hilux. I don't know if that's if the suspension's set up a little bit differently on this, but yeah, it's um, it's not bad. It's just got a Sangyong badge on it, hasn't it? <laughs> right, so we'll get it topped up. These engines do use a little bit of oil. So much so that in the boot of the car, um, excuse all this mess you get an Audi holder and I'm like well I've checked this out before it's an Audi holder that holds if I can open it while we're still on camera do 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 oil ridiculous isn't it absolutely ridiculous right we'll give it a check now I've put some in it so it was just above minimum before, and now we are just below max business. So we've checked everything else, we just topped it up with some washer fluid. Coolant's good. And I think is that is it brake fluid? Oh, I can't remember. It's about with power steering, nice no, it's brake in it, that's the brake, so um so yeah, all good. Happy days. So eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that we've swapped back to putting the 6.9 on the mixer. Um, I think that's empty, Connor. I think that's empty. I think, I think that's empty, don't you? Yeah. What's it doing? Yeah. Um, putting oil in it. I'm going to check my water after this. Yeah, or we should check them. I had a thing change the other week, didn't I? You had a what? I had a thermostat change. Oh, did you? So I was going to keep checking it up to make sure it's all right. It's 
What's this? You look like you're going to do some work. I'm going to that. What? My mate today, when I once walking up a Pete Outlands, he once said to me, quicker with that batter. And he used to whistle, he used to go. Uh, what, as well, that's where your feet have got to move? Speeding up. Instead of going. He used to go. <laughs> Just make it out of going quicker. You dig me? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. You don't. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a trickle charger and put it on that nine meter yeah. and then see tomorrow when it's cold if it'll start. Mm. Yeah. I have trickle charger on my bags. You will have. <laughs> Might have one for sale as well at the minute, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I made a pop up with seven grand though. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a nice one? Well, and like new. Well, they're two worth more. Are they? Mm. Never rides them. Ain't got time. More here. Don't work tomorrow. Or Whitby. Or Benidorm. Yeah. Or where else are you going? Egypt. Yeah. How are you going Turkey. Egypt? Turkey. Oh, Turkey. Turkey. Same, same. Yeah, Turkey too. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey took, mate. That's what you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know, but I'd guess that, that means it's like out of charge. But we'll come back and look at this later on today and see if uh, it moves to that side or if it moves to that side. I'm guessing that side's full, eh? So yeah, we'll see if we have any success with that. So Connor's just on fetching bales round now. Off the stack. So last night, um, because we got a lot more stuff in stock on the website for the merchandise, um, Esme and Isaac were giving me a hand to pack it. So we've got the jumpers, the zip neck jumpers in stock. We've got t-shirts in stock. We've got hats in stock. Still waiting on the green ones, but they will be coming. Um, but yeah, here's them getting excited about doing the merch. Who wanting to help daddy with the merchandise? Deli the deliveries, yeah? Deliveries. 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 <laughs> Are you wanting to help Isaac? Delivery, I'm a delivery monster. Deliveries, deliveries. I know deliveries. that they will be dragon. Deliveries, deliveries, deliveries. Delivery. A delivery dragon. Stop. We need to get a green bag. Can you get a green bag out of there. Well done. And then we need one of those grey hats at the top. And so far. That's it. This one's for Alistair. Yeah. No, we like Alistair, but it's not Alistair. It's, it's not Alice, no, it's Alistair. Yeah, so put that in the bag, um, write his name on it, business. You, you need to do I'll do that bit, I'll do the writing. What's that just asked me? How many followers you got? We have a milestone. Yeah. Oh, I've got the beeper going. Connor's in background there, putting the uh, putting straw out. So, 55,000 on yeah. TikTok. Just went over that, and we just last night went over 24,000 on YouTube. That's such a me, though. That's mega, that is. That's such a me. Is it? Ah. <laughs> you haven't been here. Rubbish. I'm always here. In spirit or person. Right. Yeah. People are asking, where's Big Mick gone? I'm here. I'm the mistress here. Back. I'm ready for my shiny. I know, I am, I know. Oh, well. So Connor's just setting them out, getting a few more around so that tomorrow we're um, an easier day. And uh, yeah, well yeah, thanks to everyone who's subscribed, especially those who subscribed recently. Wonder where they're all from, right, Mick? Yeah, Whitby. Whitby. <laughs> Anybody from Whitby, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Let us know where you're from. I'll be there in all year. What? I'll be there in all year. Hey, what, yeah. bro? You going for New Year's? No, three needs. Three? Ah. There we go, you see. Somebody said the other day, actually, not not even joking, is Big Mick in uh, Whitby this weekend? I'm yeah. there. I'll be on Saturday. No, yeah, I, saw I, it think on the comment. I think it's the 30th. 31 first. Yeah, come back Tuesday. Yeah, there 30th. you go. There you go. Fish what? Fisherman's Club, cheapest chips. £2.50 a pint. Is it? Oh, wow. Ah. And that side. Where right? is it? Is it in the centre then? No, it's up near old tattoo shop. No, yeah, it's just in the middle, yeah. It's in the middle, yeah. it's bang on. I'm a member. You remember? Ah. You're not a fisherman. I'm telling you. <laughs> not a member of the club, not fisherman's club, you don't. <laughs> Percy on. 
Yeah, I'm a member. There we go. Get your membership fees signed up. Yeah. Right, we'll have a look, see if she starts this time. And again. No. Nope. But the needle is moving more towards being full in the battery. So I have just found some wires here that are cut. So I've just taped them all up. That's what that is. A bit of a job to tape it up um, against the fan. And um, yeah, would, would that just be trickling a little bit away when it's a cold night? I don't know. I mean, it'd be trickling, if it was trickling trickling electric away, it'd be doing it all the time, wouldn't it? But would there be a, re unless it's like, because it's a cold night, the battery can't quite cope with, oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll find out tomorrow because I'll leave that trickle charger on all night and we'll see if it starts then. It's, it's got to be somewhat simple. It can't be somewhat major. I'm just looking at this um, this charger now. It's gone to halfway. So does that mean it's half full now? Hmm, I don't know. Wait, can I get a photo of us smiling? Because I might put it for a thumbnail. I never get what it. What thumbnail? <laughs> Look at the camera. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Do you know what I'm bothered by? You get that man up in here. She's not here, is she? I don't know yeah, what she's doing. Yeah, but with that, I'll not get a cup of tea. What? <laughs> your mum don't make you tea. You will get a cup of tea. Yeah, in about 15 minutes. Your mum don't make tea with sandwiches, I always like tea with sandwiches. All right, well, I'm sure you know how to make a cup of tea, don't you? Well, I've been free this you morning, know where, you've, been, you've come long enough that you know where, it, where everything is. I don't like going in drawers. Only certain drawers. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting brighter. Going down well then. <laughs> How's leg then? Not good. Does it hurt putting it on? It does. That's why. Well. They need to get some new socks. That's amazing. They see these, ladies and gentlemen. They're all holy. Well, they're, they're not far off holy. They'll be holy next week. That's amazing. Well, what? What? Wait, where again? Are you not? No. Oh. I'm a I bet you are. What? <laughs> Do you know what I should have got? I should have got some Joe Seals crutches, shouldn't I? Not a, could that's not a bad idea. Hey, Come on, Tonic. <laughs> so a few exterior shots of the Sangyong. What do you reckon, Mick? Tired, you like, but I'm not going to punch it, do you? I know. <laughs> it's long back on it, isn't it? Yeah. It's a plus. Back. So you can get, um, I don't know, is it full-size palatin or something, hint back, or hay and cans of beer or whatever they are. Is it what? It's all before permanent. No, 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 it's got a selector. So you have four-wheel drive, high, low, and two-wheel drive. Are you sure for it? Yeah. So all morning, you've been messing about chopping wood, and, and, and this is what you've done. It took me 25 minutes to jump in start that thing of mine. Crap! Oh, it's it's alright. Fetch your neck, fetch your own next time. I do. I do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, how are you going to do this without getting your car monkey then? Look at that fine figure of a man. The knee is the worst one of all. I ain't joking. <laughs> How long have you been trying to get that shoe on for? Don't, don't push up <laughs> you are? You want me to pull it up for you? Yay! Well done. It hurts. Oh. You've been to the doctors yet about it? What? No, no, no. No, yeah. So you've had your bacon sarnies. I've got my bacon sarnies, I've got my wood. You nicked my wood. I've done the business. I've been looked after the job. And I'll see you next week. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Bag on. Bye. Right, I'm going to give the TM a bit of a wash, I think. Well, it looks like the damage fairies have been striking again. That's fairly new. 
this one my dad the other day this but this is brand new see so it's all flaking off and it's green so let's have a look around let's see where that's occurred um it was already on this morning so um it's not happened today but uh yeah Keeps getting war wounds. This machine, like it's gonna need some filler and some yellow paint in it, make it look tidy again. Right, I've given this a blast off. Now I'm gonna put some clean and green on it, and then hit it with Asher's um, brush thing. But that's looking nice. It looks a lot better now. I just can't get the bit at the top. Um. So, yeah, I thought I'd just have to stop mucky, but... And I've not done the back. I've just done the cab, because I'll probably be using it tomorrow. Looking good! So we're just going and feeding cows now. Look at all them stood outside in sunshine. So I'm getting everywhere fed out now, and it's nice to be doing it in the nice and clean, windowed TM. Right, so because TM's the only one that's working, we're going to get the uh, silage with this, but look, it's, it's dried up fairly well out here. And because we've not put the roots in um, of recent, it means there's no water standing in them, and the ground's been able to dry off. I like. I think I'll just put some bales here, and then if it does get wet, we'll not have to come into the field for them. So use these fairly quickly over the next few days. So now I've got the mixer going. We're going to do another mix so that tomorrow is nice and easy. Easy like a Sunday morning, eh? Go and tip that in. Fish bash bosh, done. Mix is a lot better on this uh, tractor as the hitch is lower down. So it's not, not like um, holding it like that. It's a lot more level, the mixer. I'll leave that a few minutes then we'll be done so everything is away in the shed now packed up we've got that still on charge with the trickle charger so um we'll just cross our fingers see if that works tomorrow if it doesn't we've we've ruled out the battery maybe completely um so yeah if you have enjoyed today's video remember to press the like button subscribe if you're not already um get your merchandise while you can while it's in stock um so most things are in stock on the website now so we'll go um tonight and it's disney night with the kids and i'll pack the merch while they're watching disney and they'll probably want to help me for a couple of seconds and then decide to run off but um yeah uh, it'd be great if people could order stuff tonight while i've got a bit of time um, but you know what whenever order it whenever i don't care um right thanks for watching and yeah remember to put where you're from in the comments um especially if you're a new um subscriber because um, it's nice to know where we're getting people from in the uk or around the world so um, yeah thanks guys see you tomorrow business bye